Welcome to SM IELTS. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about IELTS reading task. Reading an IELTS is quite interesting and a little bit confusing one. To most of the candidates, it becomes a little bit difficult because it is different from that of the conventional reading practices. In IELTS, as you know that we have two different versions of test. First one it is academic training and the second one it is general training. In academic, you have three passages to read and in GT again you have three passages. There is a small difference between that of AT and GT. It is in AT the materials for reading is taken from books, journals and research papers so that naturally you understand that it would be rather tough to some extent not always and in the case of GT the materials the first two reading passages are taken from brochures posters and from some advertisements uh, as you know that it becomes a little bit easy when you consider that these materials are taken from brochures, posters and advertisements. And the third one obviously is similar to that of the academic but it could be of a general interest topic. Anyhow, you have three passages for AT and three passages for GT. At the end of each and every passage, you will have some questions. Questions are of different types. In IELTS, as far as reading is concerned, you have 14 different types of questions. Let me tell what are those questions. It can be sentence completion, sentence completion with box, summary completion, summary completion with box, match the heading, finding the information, true false not given, yes no not given, pick from a list, classification, and you will have short answer, multiple choice, global multiple choice questions. The questions are of various kinds. You need to sagaciously move through this passage to understand the minute meaning of each and every aspect and also read the question, understand the question and answer the question. In IELTS, you do not have negative marks. So you need to make an intelligent guess. You do not get more than a minute of time to get the answer of a single question. The reason is, the total time for reading is one hour and so that as you have three passages you can divide the time intelligently into 20 20 20 minutes 20 minutes each there's no problem if you use 25 minutes for the first passage but you will be getting only a few time left for the remaining passages and these passages both for IELTS academic and for GT these are arranged in increasing order of difficulty by now I think you understand the first passage is tough second one it is more tough and the third one it is most tough there's nothing like an easy passage in IELTS it doesn't mean that the people may find it troublesome to deal with the questions Obviously, with the help of a trainer who has expertise in dealing with the reading tasks, you can have better scores in IELTS examinations. Remember, everybody cannot give you a better scores. Unless and until you approach a training center where you find a trainer equipped with all the understanding, with all the ability of analyzing the minute details of English language, only be able to help you with. Before I conclude my speech for today, let me give you my phone number. 9447537000. This is the contact number. This is the WhatsApp number uh, to which you can contact, send your queries for any further information, clarification, for clearing your doubts because we believe that we can provide the complete English solution. Thank you very much.